this one, guys. This is absolutely pristine. Honda CD750F Super Sport. Second to last year to the original single overhead cam 750. This is the first Japanese bike to bear the name Superbike. This coined the name Superbike. You know what's the first thing I noticed? What's the, that? Uh, the steering angle is a lot greater than the Suzuki. It turns much better. Rare, rare occasions where we have a original one owner bike. Richard Rawlings himself purchased this bike brand new in 1977. I have the original title in hand. And as long as Junior doesn't crash it in the museum here, it will remain the original, unscathed, undamaged, factory original paint job. And uh, it's getting a little smoky in here, so hopefully it'll stop. Can you put it up on the center stand for me, son? This bike is a survivor. By that, it has, I mean, it has the original paint, the original fenders on it, original rims. It's never been crashed or smashed or damaged. It is an absolutely beautiful, stunning, original motorcycle. So I bought this one from the original owner um, in the classifieds a few months back. And uh, it, first thing I asked when I got on the phone was with, with the guys, is that the original paint? He says, yeah, um, this has been in the family since brand new. And they bought it in 78. Here's the original title. July of 1979, purchased brand new in Burlington, Massachusetts so, by Rich Rollins. The complete paper trail, uh, the, the original title, um, the new title, as well as uh, the registrations along the way and some maintenance receipts, information on the bike. But the fit and finish is gorgeous. It's, it's been garage kept its entire life and it has the original grips on it. Um, and, and everything that you see here is bone stock. I mean, look at the chrome, the, the uh, um, just uh, all the, the metal pieces on the bike are impeccably clean, and this is damn near close to how it looked when we brought the bike in. This is a very significant part of moto history. This bike was included in the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame Classic Bikes. It was also named in the Discovery Channel's Greatest Motorbikes Ever. It was in the Art of the Motorcycle Exhibition and is in the UK National Motor Museum. Also, the Society of Automotive Engineers of Japan Incorporated rates the 1969 CB750 as one of the 240 landmarks of Japanese automotive technology. The CB750 was the first motorcycle to be called a superbike. This bike and several like it of different years of, of the original single overhead cam are also on display here in the New England Motorcycle Museum. This bike is 736 cc's, single overhead cam, air-cooled, straight forward, and that was the engine configuration from 69 to 78. Then it went to be a double overhead cam, air-cooled straight four. The, the newer double overhead cam ones aren't nearly as valuable as the original classic single overhead cam. Rated at 125 miles per hour, this thing would break the ton all day long. So if you're looking for a piece of moto history that's in mint original condition, look no farther. You found it. It's an absolutely stunning piece. The um, Exhaust system on it is a four into one Kirker style exhaust system, which is a period correct modification. Other than that, the bike's all original. So, Dale, is there anything you'd like to add about this bike? I know this is from you. you uh... This bike has two, two things going for it. Uh, if you take a look at the back fender, it has the original duck's tail on it. Uh, normally, people cut these off when they, they bought them new. This one still has the original, uh, you know, what we called that back in the day, a, a duck's tail fender. It also has the iconic single cam sound. Uh, yes, unique. Yeah, it's, a, it's its own sound dating back to 1969 when that motor uh, came out in the 750. Uh, what I do like about it is it has its own personal sound and it is a blast to ride this bike. It's, um, plus it looks cool as hell. That, that gas yeah. tank's a five gallon gas tank. The original paint gas tank holds five gallons and it's rated for over 40 miles a gallon so you can ride this thing all day on a tank of gas. In 72, a Honda had to detune the, uh, the 754 to meet um, emission standards. And the, the Z1 came out in 73 and kind of took the stage of the, the Kawasaki Z1 900. 
Um, so in 75, Honda des decided to uh, come out with a Super Sport uh, to combat the, uh, the other manufacturers that, well, Honda had fallen into to second or third place. So with the Super Sport, it had slightly higher compression ratio, um, the four and one exhaust, the cafe styling, and also had a, a larger frame rate, which gave it the longer wheelbase and more stable at speeds, sort of like the GS. If you guys have been watching the videos, we, we, we were noting the frame rate on the GSs, but this one does it with a much uh, uh, um, greater steering angle. It's easier to get in and around the tight areas while being sporty and, and uh, stable at high speeds. So this, this also is not only a blast to ride, um, it has great looks and it is an investment. These bikes are going nowhere but up Absolutely. in value. They're, they're getting harder to find and this one's a, a nice survivor. Now would you believe you can buy this bike through your single employee pension plan or another investment account? The IRS looks at classic motorcycles as an asset that you can purchase within your portfolio and write off as an investment and have it grow within a, a, your retirement fund. So we have we have attorneys and folks who can help you with that. Call us if you have any questions. Uh, kind of so, cool, some people don't realize. If you're buying an investment for your family's future, tell your wife, honey, I know I have six or seven motorcycles already, but this is for our future. This is an investment in our future. Investment quality bike, investment quality classic. The style of this bike has stood the test of time. It still looks hot almost 50 years later. It's 42 years old and it still, still has an awesome look to it. So if you're looking for an investment quality classic, buy this bike. If you're looking for, hey Dale, can you open the front door like Christian, please? Yeah, sure. If, Dale's gonna come let you in the front door or on the first floor. If you're looking for an investment quality bike, buy this bike. If you're looking for something that needs no work, turnkey to put it in your museum, bring it to a bike show, or ride it cross country tomorrow, buy this bike. I wish we could keep it. We don't have one of these in the museum. If you want to leave it here at the New England Motorcycle Museum, we'd be honored to, to have it here. But uh, we've got a lot of overhead here. As you can see, it's a massive facility. Uh, our heating bill in the winter approaches $9,000. There's no insulation in this whole, this 205 year old factory. So it's, it's an expensive building to maintain. It's a, hey baby, how you doing? I'm doing good, hi. <laughs> what do you think, what's your first impression of this beauty? Oh, it looks really good. I saw it the other night. Hop on it, honey. Let's see how it fits you. This is one of those bikes that it, it, it will be your first one that you want to buy for your collection and the last one that you want to sell. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, I couldn't have said it, said it better myself. Yeah, it's, uh, like you know, it's a rock star. And by today's standards, it runs with anything out there that you want to buy new. But uh, this 125 miles an hour is as yeah. fast as I need to go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's plenty fast. Yeah, that's plenty fast. Hey, if there was any bike that we could sit here literally all evening and, and talk good about, it's the Honda 754. I mean, we could we could keep it going on. But uh, thanks for watching thus far, guys. If you're if you're if you're still staying tuned, um, I, I know there's a good amount of you guys that are watching every single one of these videos week to week. So. Can't thank you enough. We yeah. appreciate you, you, all the comments, uh, suggestions you guys make. Um, the faithful followers of our videos. I, I read every single comment. I wish I could respond to them all. I'm already working 80 to 100 hours a week, but I'm trying to hit the like and, and the love button there on, on all the comments. <laughs> That's the least I could do. I'm super grateful for all you guys out there. And please come visit us. Come check the place out. We're open every day but Christmas. One of the things people don't realize about this bike is the Honda CB750 was the original superbike. That's right. Yeah, that's true. That, that was the first the one that was classified. D Dale, Dale, Dale's been a big fan of these bikes and he puts his money where his mouth is. He just shipped all the way from California. Tell him about the 750 Honda you just bought. I, I just bought a Survivor 1982, yeah, 82 CB750SC, the Nighthawk. And uh, I, I owned two of them when they were brand new in 82. I bought the blue one and the black one. And I now I'm trying to buy everything that I once had. I got to have it again. I think this time. Dale, you want, there's, there's a little bit more to the story. If you've been following us, you'll remember Heavy D. This is Heavy D, Dale. Uh, Uncle Dale, we call him sometimes. But uh, he's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And he, we sold. He just sold his, his trucking company recently and was downsizing and we helped him sell some of his collection. If you have bikes you want to sell, we'll be happy to help you. Dale's like family now. And he had us sell a bike that was very significant to him. The bike he just bought, the black and chrome, 
750. He bought two of them in 82 and gave one to his dad, the blue and chrome mm -hmm. one. Yeah. And we actually sold his dad's bike, which was, you know, he wouldn't let anybody do it, but he let Junior and I. We sold his dad's bike, the blue and silver one, chrome one, and he went out and bought the black and chrome one to kind of, I mean, this is like, like, like when we, we buy these bikes from passion and love and, and the, 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 the emotions they evoke from our childhood, from when we bought these bikes 40 years ago, when we were kids. When we when these were the bikes that we wanted to have, so there's something there's some nostalgia around these bikes. It just touches a chord in your in your in your heart the, and your soul. The you know? older you get, you want to get everything back that you used to have. Mm. And you know, I I've, I've owned hundreds and hundreds of motorcycles, and uh, I've I've sold some of them that I regret, and uh, I've sold some of them that I don't care about. But the 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 Honda, uh, it. It touched me, and I, I wanted it back before I was too old to enjoy it. It's it 20 degrees out today, and Dale comes up, and it's the first time he's seen the bike. We had shipped it from California, the 750 he just bought, and he took off. He was gone for like 15 minutes, must have froze his ass up, but I, I know mean, you're... It, it was cold, but it but it was worth it. It was a good ride. <laughs> Dale, was, Dale was cold, but he was warm inside. Warm inside. Where it counts. But what, what is good is it was like meeting an old friend again. Yep. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting it back to Pittsburgh and loading it up, taking it to Florida. But this bike here will make a lot of people happy Fly for back. that for that sentimental reason. So, hang on tight. Christy's fallen off the back of my bikes before, but that won't let that happen inside here. Oh, God. I need to put that. Here's the Junior, anything you want to add? There's not much to say, guys. Message us your zip code for a shipping quote. Good luck bidding and God bless. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody.